everybody. Thanks for joining me. Listen, do me a favor and like this channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And another thing, please share if you could. And don't forget to check out the cash app on your way out. Thank you. So listen, it's going to be kind of slanted a little because um, I'm having difficulty with the stand that my phone is in and that the camera the camera is messing up and everything. So just please bear with me, folks. Anyway, Percy, Percy, a.k.a. Master P. He's been everywhere talking about how blacks should support black owned businesses, specifically his. I agree with this message, though. But the messenger is definitely not someone that I would support. And I have my reasons. I believe that he has a shady ass nature and I hate the way he treated his ex-wife, you know, Romeo's mother. He knew that this lady was a dope thing and he was okay with it until he wanted to leave her. That's when all hell broke loose. He wanted to leave her broke even though she had like a bunch of his kids. That is foul. No matter what type of way you want to word it, it's foul. You out here talking about black unity, but treating black women like trash. That's unacceptable. And by the way, Percy, your sneakers are whack. Those movies that you put out are ghetto, uninspiring, low budget, and the people in the video or the movie, they're poor actors. His movies are very stereotypical, stereotypical um, of, you know, black folks' movies. I do not, I don't co-sign that crap. I just don't. I'm tired of black people being portrayed as thugs, ignorant, and ghetto. I'm tired of movies like that. It's bad enough that pink people do this to us. Having our own do it is a disgrace. Have y'all ever wondered why he never talks about his love interests? Well, I have because the person that you choose to lay down with says a lot about how you truly feel about yourself. We never see Master P with a woman publicly. Maybe the reason for that is because he and his brother Silk are into Asian women. So that's probably why we never see him out and about with the women that he sleep with. They like Asian women. Black talk would make him look bad being as though he's laying around with nine black women. If you're sleeping with nine black people, then I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I don't support anything you're selling. Percy, you are a fake. Yep, I said it. It's very important that we don't support people like him. He don't want to commit to us, but he want our support. How do you trust a person who doesn't think highly enough of you to date you or even wife you? He's a smart business person and a good hustler, been known to be a liar, and he's done coke. I'm just saying, since Master P likes Asian women, why isn't he trying to sell his shit to the Asian community? Y'all go outside your race for whatever reason, but come to us when you want money or support, or when you get your ninja wake up call. We make these black men millionaires and they share it with nine blacks. There's a whole lot wrong with that picture. These nine black people will marry or breed with black people but still think they're superior. There's nothing more beautiful than black love. I support black love 110%. I don't feel as though I'm limiting myself by not race mixing. We come in all shades and we are all unique. I want my black man to have had two black parents. 
I don't want my man to be kind of black or half black. I don't care how bad it gets. I don't care how bad it gets with my black men. I could never, ever imagine dating a non-black man, ever. I don't like anything about them. I'm not attracted to them in any way. No one else knows our struggle. I don't have the kumbaya mindset. I truly believe in tradition, heritage, and cultural preservation. I love being around my people and the freeness I feel when I'm with my own. Love you guys. Toodles.